how in the world do I manage to do all of this hair on the weekly basis? Lord only knows, and I'm getting tired. Hey, Pom Pom Gang, welcome and welcome back to all of my beautiful subscribers. And if you are new here, my name is Shantae and I manage this lovely mop of hair here on my channel. And my baby is officially a teenager this year, but I've had to tweak how I do her styles now because she's not into all the girly girly bows and the beads and, and the accessories that I definitely overcompensate with. So my latest style for her has been waveformers. In true Leo fashion, she loves to wear her hair out. Style lasts her anywhere from two to three days. So right now I'm just showing you guys my products and kind of, I guess, a technique on how I do it. It is very simple, like very straightforward and simple to do. Her hair is kind of on the thick side, so I do have to do smaller sections for her hair for it to be properly dried within a day because sometimes it could take more than 48 hours for Khalid's hair to completely dry. Now these waveformers I purchased off of Amazon and I will have them tagged on my Amazon storefront of course and it will be linked down below in the description box. I got the 65 inch centimeter long ones and I believe this was the longest that they came in. They have a diagram for you so if it t tells you if you have like shoulder length hair, bra strap length hair, what size you should order and this size was perfect. I didn't have any that where her hair was hanging out at the bottom or anything like that. So I got the correct size and that was amazing because I was a little nervous about that with her hair being so long. I wanted to make sure we got the correct size to fit all of her hair. So it comes with this hook that you have to feed in through the former. Once you feed it in, you attach her hair into the hook, kind of like a crochet kind of way. And then you pull her hair through the former. Now I did struggle with the first one because I was a little like skeptical on how to use it. But once you find your rhythm and your method, it, you breeze through it. It really is so simple. The biggest thing that I had to concentrate on was the sections. If the section was too big, her hair was not going to go through that former. And if it was too small, it just looked like a little string of hair inside of it. Once I figured out how much hair could fit into them, I was rolling. We was getting into it, watching our Demon Slayer on the side. My daughter is so much into anime. She drives me insane. She makes me watch it with her. And I'm not going to lie, some of them kind of catchy and funny. So I, I be over there watching them with her. And now that she's 13, I be having her help with these styles, okay? Because like I mentioned in the beginning, I am tired, okay? I be having the middle child and the oldest child tag team in on wash day to help with my baby boo. Uh, the Kalia has to wash her own hair now and she's been getting really good at it. Lonnie, we got her on her cycle of washing her own hair. So mommy is pretty much just styling and I'll probably be styling their hair till my dying days. And that's okay because this is also our quality time. We sit here and talk and have a good old time. Back to this style, I had her sit under the hooded dryer for a total of five hours. And y'all, when I tell you after those five hours, her hair still was not dry. Like it is insane to me. So it is still somewhat wet and that was a big no-no, but we had to get her ready for school. She couldn't go to school with no formers. And trust me, she tried to skip out. So I'm gonna tell my mommy, if my hair not done, I might as well just stay home and not go to school. And eh, eh, wrong mama, honey, you still going. So you see me over here trying to check it to see. And yes, honey, they are still like, there was some that was really damp. And it was definitely the sections that I did a little too big. So it's still a learning curve, learning process. This was my first time doing them. And now I'm on like my third time styling, restyling her wave farmers. We've got it down pat. We got our method now. I did have to go back and order another pack because I realized I just needed to do smaller sections and we ended up running out of formers for that. Once I removed all her formers, it's time to separate the hair. Now, I'm not gonna lie. I kind of prefer it like this. I didn't want to do too much separating because I feel like the more you fluff, the less longevity you get out of the style. And with her being 13, a teenager, and don't want to sit down in the hair chair, I was just like, you know what? I'm gonna just put some oil on it to seal everything up. And you you hopping up out of my chair. We just gonna let humidity, life, and whatever you got going on at school to allow your hair to fluff out naturally. And it most definitely did because when I picked her up at the school, you, you wouldn't have thought I did her hair on this one, but it was also my fault because her hair was not fully dried. Make sure it is fully dried. Next time we restyled this look for her, I had to sit under the dryer for seven hours instead of five, and we did smaller sections, and that was, that was it. We've been on point, but the curls look really good. I love how this turned out. 
Again, the style lasts her from two to three days. For her nighttime routine, we just pull it up into a fine apple on top of her head and have her sleep with a silk bonnet. And in the morning, we just refluff it back out. But that's the end for this tutorial. If you want more details on the waveformers, please let me know. I'll try to post more here on YouTube. But it's good to be back and I'm so blessed to have my many followers still checking in on us. We'll see y'all on the next one. Be blessed and be safe.